Inside Number Nine is a British television program starring and written by Rhys Shearsmith and Steve Pemberton. As an anthology series with wildly different settings, situations, themes and characters in every episode, it can be argued that a definitive genre is harder to agree upon than that of a series with a contiguous story and consistent generic conventions between episodes. So what is the genre of Inside Number Nine? And to what extent can wider academic study of genre theory in film and television allow for a deeper reading of the programme? This presentation aims to answer both of these questions, drawing upon academic sources in conjunction with a close analysis of the episode The Harrowing. Genre is a way of organising and categorising fiction into distinctive groups based on the work's generic conventions. These conventions can include characters, themes, settings, and virtually every other part of the mise-en-scene. Discussing the importance of film genre, Barry Langford stated that genre establishes family resemblances between films released under widely differing circumstances. Genres rely on intertextuality, family resemblances. One horror film viewed solely on its own with no knowledge of generic conventions is simply a film that scares people. However, view two or three more films that scare people, and similarities can be drawn between the films, which then become generic conventions. Regardless of filmmaker's intent, if an audiovisual text adheres to generic conventions of an established genre, then it will be categorised as such. Audience interpretation of a text is also critical to the classification of genre. Murray Leader stated that genres make individual texts comprehensible by referring to cultural shorthands that most audiences will grasp. More often than not, these cultural shorthands are established generic conventions, allowing for quick and often subconscious generification of texts. But what about media texts that contain the conventions of multiple genres? And what about Inside Number 9 with its vast array of generic conventions between episodes? Can it or should it be classified? In the episode The Harrowing, many conventions of the horror genre can be observed. Murray Leader also noted that one of the reasons horror is frightening is that normality is threatened by the monster. One of the opening shots shows a tray with milk in a baby's bottle and a rusk biscuit, two signifiers of babies, connoting innocence and possibly, in the case of horror, normality. Pliers are then added to the tray, alongside a loud and unsettling musical score. The presence of the pliers seems out of context with the mise-en-scene, bringing connotations of pulling teeth, signifying the threat to normality, amplified by the soundtrack. Toynbee and Gillespie stated that through immersion in culture, humans have come to a sophisticated understanding of signs. So, although a biscuit, some milk and pliers may not be unsettling through denotation, it is through the connotations that the objects bring as signifiers of conflicting ideas that make audiences feel unsettled. The episode is set in an old, dark house, commonly seen in horror films such as Dracula and The Conjuring, with a musical score similar to that of Child's Play. The protagonist is a young girl, her age signified by the use of her school uniform, linking to the young or teen characters of horror films like The Ring and Friday the 13th. The mise-en-scene is dark with red accents, colours associated with the horror genre, connoting hell. With all these generic conventions of horror, one would think that this episode should be classified as horror. However, the delivery of the conventions in the episode lightens the tone. The character of Hector is often used for comic relief, as well as other light-hearted moments in the episode shifting the overall tone from pure horror to something more humorous. Hector's character seems deliberately overacted, almost a caricature of a horror villain, with humorous lines such as... Oh, I play guitar. Miss Hepworth, I'm not a vampire. What is also important to note during comedic moments is the musical score. When Katie and Tabitha discuss art, the line intended to be humorous I'm doing a still life for a pair of trainers and a jack in the box is accompanied by a light plodding musical score. These comedic aspects hard to dance with the devil on your back. Right, Hector, that's enough. Lighten the tone, but do not turn the episode into a parody or a farce. The episode retains its conventions of horror while incorporating dark humour. Analyzing the generic and tonal aspects of this episode, we are able to apply the knowledge to the rest of the program allowing for a deeper reading of the text. From the way the show treats the genre of horror, we are able to understand the irreverent attitude it has towards its stories and the genres to which those stories belong. On the concept of comedy, Andrew Stott wrote that comedy is best defined not by its formal qualities, but by its ability to induce laughter. Therefore, it is possible for every episode to be considered comedic while still adhering to their respective generic convention, as exemplified by the comedic aspects in The Harrowing. This is supported by Leader's writing, stating that a single convention may exist in multiple genres, but have different significance in each. Each episode retains its generic conventions, and therefore its genre, despite the overall comedic tone of the program. This presentation concludes that Inside Number 9 should not be categorised as a whole, but rather its episodes should be individually. While a comedic and irreverent tone is a constant throughout the show, this presentation has argued that this should not necessarily alter the overall genre of each episode. On the other hand, 
If one is to consider Leader's statement that conventions are given meaning only by their adjacency to other conventions, one might conclude that Inside Number 9 is in fact comedy, as a convention of comedic tone is adjacent to every other generic convention in the show. Regardless of what one thinks, this presentation has attempted to show how a deeper reading of Inside Number 9 can be achieved through the study of genre theory, concluding that, whether classified as comedy or not, the programme is a tongue-in-cheek homage to established genres in fiction.